Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim, Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. Some people think I'm funny. Even when I read God's Word, the Bible, they think I'm funny. They've been sending me emails saying they want a good laugh. I don't think God's Word is funny because God's Word is coming true his prophecies is coming true even today as as I speak. There was an 8.0 earthquake that just struck off of southern Mexico. On top of these earthquake, I mean on top of these earthquakes that we've been having. We've been having these very, very strong uh, hurricanes. We had Harvey. Several years before that, we had Katrina and Rita. We had... Um, Wilma. I was in Mississippi. Helping out with the Red Cross. For the Hurricane Katrina and Rita relief, when uh, Wilma was hitting Florida, and I saw the outer bands of Wilma, we were we were kind of we we're weary that uh, Wilma was going to come up where we were, but took a turn and head straight for Florida. Now this hurricane's coming up from the south of Florida. This uh, Irma. Some people are, are, are constantly questioning. Is God doing this? Well, for one thing, God said he will not. destroy the earth with a flood but he will send floods still as a message he will not destroy the entire earth as a flood with, with a catastrophic flood that will cover the entire earth and kill everybody like he did in the past but he will still send floods as a message to get our attention besides earthquakes does anybody ever read Luke I mean come on is it just Matthew is it just Mark is it just John is that all there is in the Gospels Luke recorded some things as well that Jesus said so you had Matthew Mark Luke and John they all recorded different things that Jesus said where one maybe didn't hear everything that Jesus said the other one did and they recorded it in Luke Jesus says in Luke 21 Jesus said take heed well, starting with verse uh, 8, 21, 8. Take heed that you be not deceived, deceived, excuse me. For many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and the time has drawn near. Therefore do not go after them. But when you hear of wars and commotions, do not be terrified, for these things must come to pass first. But the end will not be coming immediately. 
Then he said to them, Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. Which also means ethnos group, or, you know, ethnos group. Or ethnic groups. Whites, blacks, whatever, you know, clashing with each other. And there will be great earthquakes in various places, and famines and pestilence. And there will be fearful signs and great signs from heaven. But before all these things, they will lay their hands on you and persecute you, deliver you up to synagogues and prisons. You will be brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. But it will turn out for you as an occasion to testify. Therefore, settle it in your heart not to meditate beforehand on what you will answer. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which you will Excuse me. My eyes kind of getting fr but fr uh, fuzzy here. Which, excuse me, wisdom with all your adversaries will not be able to counterdict or re resist. You will be betrayed even by parents and brothers, relatives and friends, and they will put some of you to death. And you will be hated by all for my namesake, but not a hair on your head shall be lost by your patience possess your souls then down here Jesus goes on and, and with uh, 21 this is what uh, a lot of people say oh no 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 there are no signs in the moon and the sun and and uh other things well Jesus said and there will be signs in the Sun and the moon and in the stars and on the earth distress of nations will perplex and the sea 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 and the waters roaring is not uh, a hurricane Men's hearts failing them from fear and uh, expectation of those things which are coming on the earth. For the power of heaven will be shaken. The heavens is also the sky. And then they will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with power and great glory. Now then these things begin, excuse me, now when these things begin to happen, look up and lift your heads because your redemption draw near. And my scanner's going off here a lot this morning for different calls. Another thing I wanted to also, real quick, say here.
code for is an accident with injuries. I'm wearing my shirt that says, Feel the power of God. And of course it has the, the Bible verse down at the bottom, 1 Corinthians 1.18. And here is what 1 Corinthians 1.18 has to say. For the message of the cross is foolish to those who are perishing, but to who uh, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. And of course, I went on here for it is written, "I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and bring." To nothing the understanding of the prudent. The prudent, well, who's the prudent? The prudent are the ones that think that they're better, that they're wiser. I know some people right now think they're better and they're wiser. All because they went to a Bible college. Or they think they're better and they're wiser because... They were in the military. Really? God is going to destroy your wisdom. And he's going to bring nothing. Nothing to your understanding. <sighs> Wake up before it's too late, people. Wake up. And there's a guy who's been hounding me here just recently, too, on my Facebook ministry page. Saying, you know, come on now, people. Wake up before it's too late. God loves you. But God is also angry at what you are doing and have been doing. And he's sending signs in the heavens with these hurricanes. Yes, these hurricanes are signs. God bless you. Have a blessed day.